what time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. It's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this movie review started. guys today in theaters as well as streaming on in, in Disney Plus is Cruella starring Emma Thompson the Emma Stone and let's get down to the movie review of this so Cruella's a, a live action prequel to 101 Dalmatians which of course focuses on the main villain Cruella de Vil well this story starts out with a young Cruella actually her name was Estella and you know played by emma stone and she you know was orphaned at a young age and and went out in the you know once inspiring fashion designer who wants to do right she don't want to do wrong she wants to do the right thing and be this fashion that goes and takes a job for the baroness uh, who's played by emma thompson and this is something she is something to her she's just a, you know she's the real villain up in this once one Corella goes and works for her things start to change and she's having a hard time struggling with the staying good, especially when certain things revealed about, you know, her mother's death and who's behind I'm it. I'ma tell you, I'ma tell you, Cruella, this movie was such a wickedly, wickedly fun watch. I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it. I mean, first of all, let's talk about visually stunning. From the sets, to especially the costume. Costume designer for this was, her name was Jenny Beaven, and she's won Academy Awards for things like the Mad Max movies. And I'm gonna tell you, if she's not nominated for Academy Award for this, something's going on. Because the outfits and costumes, they brought it in this, and they had to. I mean, it's a movie about fashion designers, you know? Both of them are fashion designers. So, you know, these dresses that were designed are amazing. There was one dress in particular that I adored. It was this one, they were, it was like a trash dress. It had newspapers and stuff. I was like, how did they come up with this? Brilliant. Of course, the two Emmas brought it. The two Emmas brought it. I mean, talk about legends of our time actresses. Some of the great, the two of the greatest actresses, I must say, out there in our time now. And they, they both shined on screen, never one outdoing the other. But they also had this battle for like, who's the most villainous? Who's the most evil? And it was a pleasure to watch. My money was on Emma Thompson <laughs> being the most evil. That's what my money went to. But it was just a pleasure to watch it, the wickedness on the screen. Other than the two Emmas being the stars in this, the other big star was the movie soundtrack. Yes, the musical soundtrack for this. I'm going to tell you. The song choices they picked for this went perfectly with every scene, did a great job of moving the, the story forward, and it, I had me questioning, like, with some of the song choices, I was questioning which came first, the chicken or egg? Did they actually pick the song and then do the scene around it? Or did, did they do the scene and pick the song? Because that's how perfect the song choices were for each of these scenes. I had any complaint about this. It's that it was too long. I mean, this is supposed to be right. It's PG-13. You know, it's supposed to be for maybe the older ones, you know. But it was almost two and a half hours long. And if it wasn't for that, if the movie would have, you know, not dragged in some parts, I would have been like, oh, yeah, it was fine. But that's the thing. I felt like it could have cut off half an hour and still and been an even better movie. It could have been even better. I don't know what this trend is about making all these movies longer than they needed to be. This didn't need to be. It actually, if you would have cut off 30 minutes, it would have been even better. Halfway through, I thought it was wrapping up. And I was like, why did it ain't even over? And let's talk about what parents need to know before letting their kids watch this. Because it is rated PG-13, so let's look at the little nitty gritty details. As far as language, I mean, the language was really mild. There wasn't any curse words or profanity to speak of. I think the worst they got was like a hell. They use the word stupid and uh, imbecile sometimes, but yeah, I was impressed with, you know, no profanity being used. This did get, you know, it's PG-13 rating was probably some of the more mature content. I mean, they had death in this. You see some characters, you know, die, a mother dies, so that can be triggering. 
there are some scary parts. I mean, an attempted murder, <laughs> you know? So it was mostly kind of with the violence, I think, that really gave this one that PG-13 rating. They had some alcohol consumption as well, but um, now, you know, sexual innuendos or definitely no nudity or anything like that. So it could be, you know, it could be scarier for younger kids, you know, with all the violence and the attempted murders and, <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I think it's pretty safe for kids to watch. Like I said, I loved it. This is the origin story we've been waiting for that we didn't even know we needed. <laughs> That's this one, Cruella, I loved it. Uh, and like I said, it's out in theaters today. Also streaming on the Disney Plus with the premium access. So go see it. It's going to be the one of this Memorial Weekend to watch.